Welcome to episode 21 of Making One Bill, starting as a level 3. In today's episode, we will be finishing off our biggest goal we've had to date. You guys already know what it is if you've been keeping up the series, 85 Slayer. We're starting today's episode at level 83. We have two levels to go, roughly 600,000 Slayer XP to be gained with a glorious loot tab out at the very end to see exactly how much money we made from level 80 to 85 Slayer. As always, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you do, make sure you leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I hope you enjoy. Hey, <laughs> Archer's Ring boys, oh, I'm never gonna get tired of seeing that little beauty on the floor, although it's plummeted in price, it's 4.7 mil, it's still decent. God, I think this was 6 mil like less than a month ago, that's actually went down so much. However, we are currently on our final day of membership from the bond that I last bought in this account. So that right there, as soon as we finish this trip, is going to be sold. We're going to buy ourselves a new bond and earn ourselves another 14 days of free membership. So this entire prayer level, completely from the Dagonoff Kings, burying the bones right here, with 72 prey. Two prayer levels off of unlocking rigor. Of course, that's going to be something that I'm going to have to buy in the near future. I think it's sat around 50 mil right now. So it's going to be a chunk of the bank when we get this, but it's going to be a massive upgrade to Hawk the Eagle Eye. And I do plan on getting both of these preys in the near future. 5,000 star XP for completing a boss task. Beautiful. The most expensive Dagonoff unique, the Archer's Ring coming in. Very, very nice. I'm going to go ahead now, buy myself a bond. So... When it hits 12 o'clock tonight, I'm not going to get logged out and be stuffed for membership. And the bonds just keeps on going up in price. That's almost the entire Archer's Ring got on this bond, man. Oh, it makes me sad. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. 14 days more membership purchased. And to be fair, it was only a 35 kill Dagonoff trip, so I can't really complain. Free membership for the next two weeks off of that. I will take it. <laughs> Okay, alright, the 35 Dagonoff King task into 179 Dagonoffs. I don't even have to change my setup. Very, very nice. We just got a really, really nice milestone right there, boys. Uh, excuse me while I'm prey flicking these real quick. We just got ourselves 90 hit points. That is the second 90 on this account, I believe. After range, we now officially have two skills over level 90 which is very very nice let's take a look look at that 5.3 million xp overall 105 combat now absolutely incredible hello there first rare unique of the trip cheeky series ring coming in 424k oh i think that's the third one of those we've had so far not bad not bad <laughs> the duble series ring ah oh, this trip's looking uh it's looking kind of good. How many kills we got left? 84 kills to go. We've already had two Sears Ring. Not the best drops, but they're still considerably pricey. 800k in the inventory right there. This trip is starting off pretty damn good. It's been a while since we've had one of those. I think that's the second one we've had in almost 700 kill count. I am very happy to see it. A nice free meal. The Dagonoff Kings are paying out nicely today. Gold! It's RNG! Holy shit! And also, Dragon Axes are 93k. Why are they so much, dude? They've actually gone up so much. I think I've got six in the bank, and they were around about 50,000 gold when I got them as a drop. They're, they've almost doubled in probably two, maybe three weeks. Anybody know why? Is there like a woodcutting update coming out soon or something? Holy shit, boys. <laughs> oh my god, this trip's been amazing. We've had two Berserker Rings, two Sears Ring, a Dragon Axe, 700 kill count on Rex for the B Ring. Oh my goodness, this has been a huge task. And if I died right there, I'd have been so fucking sad before getting that Berserker Ring. <gasps> All right, I need to be careful. Oh, there we go, boys. That is the task completed. I am very, very curious to see the price check on this one. We have made absolute bank it is time to get a price check how much did we just make so without the expensive rare uniques we made 280k with the sears rings added in there we made 1.1 mil and with the berserker rings we have made a solid 7 mil dagonoff king trip 
very, very happy with that one, boys. The loot tab is going to be flying up in value at this rate. Unfortunately, I've come to a bit of a, a brick wall when it comes to my cash stack. As you can see, we have 18k. The loot tab right now is 19 mil, but unfortunately, we have been selling items off as we go. So far, we've sold two archers rings. I didn't want to have to sell anything until we got to 85 so we could have a grand 85 Slayer tab selling. But right now, I can't afford that, so I am going to sell one of the Berserker rings so I can purchase my sell some cannonballs and continue the slayer grinds wow okay uh neve really wants me to get some dagonoff king rings not gonna complain more money to be had oh my god holy shit boys we are making some bank loot today this is where the ring luck comes in this is where it's been hiding i've had two archer rings and two berserker rings in like the last three hours i think it seems that regular slayer has become profitable once again <laughs> Very nice. Oh my god, man. <laughs> okay. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> gimme, 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 gimme. 97k. Uh, the Dragon Axe is actually a rival to the Mud Battle Staff now. It may actually be worth more, but I will take it. A T4 Slayer coming in there, guys. Ooh, one level remaining. 300,000 Slayer experience to go until we unlock Abyssal Demons. It is spicing up right now on this account. Have a look at that. Remember getting 85 Slayer for the first time? Oh my god, felt like years. Another Dagonoff King trip complete. A very profitable one at that as well. I'm going to quickly get a price check and we're going to see how much we made. Without the two big rare uniques that we managed to get, 465k. Including the Archer Ring and the Berserker Ring, that was an 8 mil trip, man. Oh my god, that's insane. That's actually amazing. In fact, I'm going to deposit everything in my inventory. I'm fairly certain right now the bank is back over 100 mil. There we go. That is what I like to see. 101 mil again. A 24 mil Slayer tab. Ooh, it's looking good. Another Tokul Jad task. Very, very nice. Gimme, gimme. Another Tokul Jad has been defeated. Very, very nice. 89 tasks in a row. A nice 25,000 bonus Slayer experience. I will take it. Unfortunately, we didn't get a pet. But... The fire capes are building up and I did read the comments you guys had. I might actually start to trade them in when I get bunches of 10. Rightio, back to back Jad tasks. Uh, I just got like three tasks there that I cancelled. I've got the points to do so, but I'm not complaining. Should mean that we get 85 Slayer in absolutely no time. Another Jad bats the dust. 90 tasks complete. Fortunately, it doesn't look like we got the pet on this run. <laughs> Oh man, I can't complain about my pet luck though. It's been absolutely phenomenal. So that should mean that we have seven fire capes in the bank right now. There we go. And only 178k until 85 Slayer, boys. There we go, boys. 86 strength coming in for you. 374k until the next level. Still 105 combat. These levels are flying in right now. And as you can see, we are just over 100,000 Slayer XP from our long-term goal. Haha. <laughs> 135 Dagonoffs to kill. Let's go and claim ourselves some nice rings. It's been a very long time since I did my weekly Tears of Gothics run. Um, this may be one of the only times I've actually done it on this account. I think I might have done it like once or twice in the past. Anyways, let's drink some tears and see what levels we managed to get. Oof, 19 to 24 Hunter. Oh god. I already know that Mr. Settled Swamplex is very upset. I'll take it. Oh man. <laughs> We've literally only just got here. That's our second Rex kill and already a Berserker ring. Guys, I don't know what's going on with my RNG at this place, but hey, I'm not complaining. A very unexpected range level coming in there. 94 range. <sighs> Almost hitting that 1 million experience between levels. Only five levels more until we get our first skill cape. And I've not chinned at all. Followed up by the Dragon X. Very nice. Oh, another one of these. Oh my goodness. It's been quite a long time since I got the Berserker Ring. Another Berserker Ring and Archer Ring trip, man. Like, oh god, I, I really don't know what to say about my RNG at this place. It's been absolutely phenomenal the past few days. Honestly, I cannot wait to sell the loot tab from level 80 to 85 Slayer. We're very close to 85 now. But our Dagonoff King trips have been paying out 
big time. There we go, that is the task complete. Let me get my little ass out of this place and get a nice healthy price check on how much we just made. Without the two expensive uniques that we got, it looks like we've made 540k. The Dragon Axe is still a very reasonable price, 84k. With the two rare uniques, 8 Point seven mil. The DKs, boys. This is why the DKs are my favorite old school RuneScape boss. I will never get tired of killing these things, man. We collecting some fat checks. Right there. 85 Slayer. Oh my goodness. That's taken such a long time. Abyssal Demons and Sires have now been unlocked. Oh my god. Gold. The nostalgia behind getting 85 Slayer is absolutely crazy. Oh, it makes me want to just go and camp Abyssal Demons for like a thousand kills to see what the RNG is going to be like. I'm actually so tempted just to go to the uh, to go to the catacombs and just kill a thousand of them and see if we got some good loot. Oh, I'm so happy. The account is starting to look like somewhat of a main at this point. Slayer. Oh, look at that. Gimme. Yeah. The account is coming along nicely. It is time to have a little browse of the loot tab. As you can see, my two glorious Dagonoff King pets at the very top of the loot tab. Beautiful specimens. And this is the Dagonoof items. 45 Earth Battle Staffs. Oh my goodness, that's insane. I expect the majority of the money I get from selling this tab will more than likely come from this right here. I am going to sell the entire tab with the exception of this. I'm going to keep the Miss Battle Staff just because I feel like it's incredibly rare and it's, it's barely worth 100k. So I'd rather just keep hold of it as somewhat of a trophy instead of just getting rid of it for 100k. Let's sell the tab. Okay, so the first inventory of loot... And that's a solid 5 mil. The final inventory, the expensive one. Ooh, I've got a good feeling about this. Radio boys, here it goes nothing. Time to collect all of the money we've made from level 80 to 85 Slayer in this click. How much did we make? Okay, okay, 34 mil, 888k. We'll call it a sound 35 mil. I feel like that's kind of reasonable. I have been doing Slayer the fastest, most efficient, and most expensive way that I've been possibly able to. I've been cannoning every task that I can, I've been bursting every task that I can, and I've also not been prey flicking, I've just been camping piety the entire time, hence why I managed to get it relatively fast. So, I've done it the fast, the easy, lazy way, and I've still profited money. This is why you do Slayer Boys. As long as you take advantage of those boss tasks, such as the Dagonoff Kings when they come along, you're laughing. From level 80 to 85 Slayer, we managed to sell the loot tab and get 35 mil. However, during that time and not including in those sales, we had to sell two Archer's Rings when they were 6 mil a piece. And we also had to sell Berserker Ring when it was 3 mil. Meaning that the grand amount that we made from level 80 to 85 Slayer would be 50 million GP. Not bad. Now obviously that's 50 mil that we made in total, but we actually profited 35 mil. But considering the way that I've been training, Slayer, which has been the fast, efficient, and by no means cheap way. That ain't too bad. That really isn't too bad. We got a shed ton of levels, the account's looking good, and we've unlocked Abyssal Demon. Now, if you guys would like to take a guess, looking at the current place I am in RuneScape, as of what my next big money-making strat is going to be, feel free to leave it down in the comments. I want to see how many of you guys are on the same page as me. But with that being said, I do hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you very soon.